A new day begins in this typical household. To help cut their electricity bills, a SolarEdge PV system with battery storage has been installed. The SolarEdge monitoring dashboard provides insight into household production and consumption, showing the power flow between the PV array, battery, grid and house loads. Real-time system data is tracked by the graph. The red curve represents the consumption. The PV production curve is green and blue represents self-consumption. At 6 a.m. PV production is zero. The battery is drained after powering the house overnight and the house load is currently supplied by the grid. As the sun rises, PV production starts to increase, but the grid continues to support the basic house loads. At 6.45 a.m. the household wakes up. The house loads surge as the family prepares to head out. With the increased PV production, the PV system is now able to help meet the rising consumption together with the grid energy. At this stage, PV energy only supports house loads and does not charge the battery. It's 8 a.m. Since everyone has left the house, the house load has dropped. PV production now greatly exceeds consumption, so there is no electricity supplied by the grid. The house is now energy independent for the first time today. The green production curve exceeds the blue self-consumption curve. In this case, the excess PV energy is used to charge the battery. The battery continues to be charged by PV throughout the morning. The house load remains low and is fully supplied by the PV energy. With PV at peak production and the battery reaching full charge, the excess energy can now be exported to the grid. At midday, the house is still energy independent. It's lunchtime and the kids are back home from school. Even with rising house loads, the PV production is high enough to supply all loads while exporting excess energy to the grid. The battery remains 100% charged. In the afternoon, there is higher energy consumption and decreasing PV production. With PV not able to meet the house loads, the battery now begins supplying energy. After 3 p.m., clear skies give way to clouds, leading to even lower PV production. The dashboard shows the battery continuing to compensate for the reduced PV generation levels, supplying a greater share of the house loads than before. Good news! At 4 p.m., the sunny weather has returned. PV production is back to levels high enough to supply the loads, charge the battery and even export excess energy to the grid. It is now 6 p.m. dinner time, daylight is turning to dusk and PV production is winding down for the day. The low PV generation isn't able to supply the high energy consumption with demand exceeding the battery's continuous power output, the grid is used to ensure that the high energy demands are met. As the sun sets, PV production has dropped to zero. With household consumption relatively low, the battery alone is able to supply the house loads without any need for the grid. It's 10 p.m. bedtime. House loads are minimal, so the battery is able to power the house by itself until full discharge at around 4 a.m. The grid then takes over household energy supply for the rest of the night, with PV production starting again after sunrise. Another day has ended with SolarEdge's PV and StoreEdge solution helping this household optimise their self-consumption.